This isn't your house! Come in here, Torvald, and see what I have bought. Don't disturb me. Bought, did you say? All these things? Has my little spendthrift been wasting money again? Yes, but Torvald, this year we can really let ourselves go a little. Please don't make a fuss. Christmas we have not needed to economize. Still, you know, we can't spend money recklessly. Yes, Torvald. We may be a wee bit more reckless now, mayn't we? Uh, just a tiny wee bit. Uh, you are going to have a big salary and earn lots and lots of money. Yes, after the new year. But then, it will be a whole quarter before the salary is due. Pooh, we can borrow until then. Nora, the same little featherhead. Suppose now that I borrowed 50 pounds today, and you spent it all in the Christmas week. And then on New Year's Eve, a slate fell on my head and killed me, and... Oh, don't say such horrid things. Still... Suppose that happened. What then? If that were to happen, I don't suppose I should care whether I owed money or not. Yes, but what about the people who had lent it? They? Who would bother about them? I should not know who they were. That is like a woman. But seriously, Nora, you know what I think about that. No debt, no borrowing. There can be no freedom or beauty about a home life that depends on borrowing and debt. We two have kept bravely on the straight road so far, and we will go on the same way for the short time longer that there need be any struggle. As you please, Torvald. Come, come, my little Skylark must not droop her wings. What is this? Is my little squirrel out of temper? Nora? What do you think I've got here? If the doors of perception were cleansed, we could see everything as it is. Infinite. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? Who did that? 
It's nothing personal. Who's there? There's the one who did it! Who did it hit you? He's the killer! This is a waste of bow flower time. Come out and take your medicine. Nothing much to fuss about, I guess. Found you. Do I get a None of my business, really. Nothing much to fuss about, I guess. I guess it's none of this my won't hurt a bit. Business, really. Nothing much to fuss about, I guess. the rest of us, I suppose. I just want them to stop screaming. That's all. Nothing more we can do for them. Who's there? I guess I'm it's I'm calling the authorities. <laughs> Why are we doing this to each other? Nothing more we can do for him. Nothing much to fuss about, I guess. You're here. I know you're here. Help, are you? So get out. Is it past your bedtime? Don't think I won't. you like this? Brilliant. Knew we could count on you, Alfie. Hey, everybody, Peach is back. But look, Charlie Croker's been wounded. He needs a first aid kit. Can you get one? I knew you could. Here's the top secret blueprint for making one. And you can find the ingredients on this map. I suppose you do have to look out for your friends. Here. I want you to have this. Okay. Here's the mission we've all been training for. You have to find the secret mystery house and bring back the ephemeral linen. Now, listen carefully. You can only get into the secret mystery house at night and only when the doors of your perception have been cleansed. Once you've got the ephemeral linen, we'll be able to construct our secretest weapon. It's called a suit of blending for Peachy. We can use it to sneak into Dr. Verloc's secret lair and stop his evil plan for good. All right, Alfie. 
Don't come back without the ephemeral linen. A suit of blending? He's talking about camouflage, isn't it? I hope you like this sort of thing. Brilliant. Now we can make the suit of blending. Here's the secret instructions. Goodness, you survived your mission. Remember, we've got your back. Have you been sleeping all right? Sally Boyle could help me. But she doesn't do house calls out here, does she? At least there are flowers out here. Stay away from the ones with Mom, plague. Dad. It's a terrible way to die. Well, don't you worry, dearie. Everything will be all right from now on. You sit down and have a cup of tea. I'll just go and make coffee. Some of the Germans were fairly decent chaps. How could I have even 
I wonder if any of them survived the Russians. Thank you for the very pointed questions, Mr. Tullet. And I for one salute you during your service during the war in Clever of them to pave the tracks with good intentions. This is for you. There you go. Uh, I've never sewed an outfit for a, uh, a secret agent. I hope you like it. Fantastic. Now you and Peachy can sneak into the secret lair of Dr. Burlock. You'll need this to get in. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh, you probably want a suit of blending yourself. Peachy can't do it all by himself. He's not talking about the same Dr. Verloc who runs Hayworth Labs, is he? Well, anyway, I'm keen to try the camouflage suit. Made it back. Good man. Good man. How many holes would it take to fill the album?
I feel oddly guilty for not buying a ticket.
There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. to choose from. I hope you'll consider us for your future purchases. We get new items in almost every day. Interesting things you smell when you barely see. to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Fucking stuck! Roger! What did you do to the fucking valve, huh? You over-tightened it, didn't you? Jesus fucking Christ. Why did I have to fall for a stupid fucking mechanical imbecile? I told you to leave the plumbing the fuck alone! Fucking eyebrows. It's always the fucking eyebrows. Here. Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her, and... Well, Roger's worse. <laughs> He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. <laughs> Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. <laughs> I just want you to know that I appreciate what you do. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you. Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too.
Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... When you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. They locked up here. And why? Lovely day for it.
Should clear up soon, I imagine. James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in. What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or peepers, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right, maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Just to do it, babe. For heaven's sake, I need that motor. 